Hi guys, it's Ray. Um, today we are doing another alcohol ink type marble tumbler. We're doing it on a 16 ounce wine glass this time. Um, this was going great when I spray painted it and then I dropped it in the snow. I'll put a picture up on the screen. <laughs> so I didn't strip it all the way back down. I don't think it'll matter for what I'm using it for, but yeah, it was one of those days. So I wiped it off and sprayed it again as best I could. But I have a couple of purple alcohol inks. I have Purple Twilight. I have Passion Purple, which I think these two are pretty close, but I don't know. And then I have Cool Perry to, like, pull it back. I'll hop up and grab some lighter colors if I feel it's necessary. Um... This cup is actually just a surprise for somebody, another YouTuber. Um, I don't know, she's probably got 45 of them already, but um, just something I decided I wanted to do. So I'm just going to like messy brush on my colors to start. And I'm painting my alcohol bottle over here. Okay. I do have a couple of different brushes, so I'm going to switch back and forth a little bit here and there, but I'm just going to start off as a mess. I think I need to shake this one up, or it had a darker purple top on it, whichever. But I'm just going to paint, so... Okay, so I did grab a fourth color. You saw me pull that in. And I am okay with this. It's got some funky spots from the spray paint where I dropped it, I guess. I don't really know because I only dropped it on one side and it's kind of all over. But this is going to get some kind of cheek glitter on top, most likely, to really give it some oomph. So I'm going to grab my tack it over and over, my mixed... I'm about out. I really need to get off my butt and order a bottle soon. Um, I want a very small brush this time. So I'm just grabbing a handful of paintbrushes real quick to see if I have a pretty small one. And uh, that's pretty small. Maybe too small. 
I'll grab the second one out, even though that one's a little stiff. So, I'm going to put some gold veins in. So, I'm going to let this sit and dry for 10-15 minutes. It won't take long because that's so little. And, um, I will be back. Okay, I am ready to get the veining on this. I am going to use these gold foil sheets. Um, these are like true, like higher quality gold foil sheets. So let's see how this goes. But I have them in my stash, so my mother sent them to me at some point. And I have my stencil brush. This has pink foil on it, and I really don't want to mix pink foil in, so hang on. These stencil brushes suck for stenciling, so. But they work great for this. See, that's what I wanted, nice thin little lines. Okay, so I'm going to get her name cut in a gold vinyl, because I want to put that on before the epoxy, I believe. I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put it. I'm going to pick a cheat glitter to go over it to kind of hopefully hide some of these imperfections. Um, so I'm going to clean up my mess, get a name cut, and I will be back when we're ready to go under the resin. Okay, so I got my decal on here. That's all it was getting. I need to get a glove. What am I doing? Um, so I am ready to finish it up. I'm going to put a little bit of cheat over the whole thing, and then I'm going to sprinkle it with a chunky purple mix. So I'm going to use the micro cheat cheat for this because this is the one I have that's best suited for purples and blues. And I'm not going to use a lot. I just want to kind of see if I can cover some of these imperfections. So and my resin is getting warm, so I want to get a move on here. Whoa, see, warm. So I'm going to use my Milky Way, and the fact that that's got a little bit of rainbow is perfect because this has a little bit of holographic type in it too. So I'm just going to, um, this is from LMNOP. The cheat was from It's Pretty Personal. I have links to both of them down in the description. So, but I don't want to do like a lot of the chunky, so I'm just going to do that like sprinkle it from on high because I don't want it all over the cup I just kind of want it on that curve if some of it pops up that's perfectly fine but I don't want like a ton of it a ton a ton to drift I may drift a little bit but
and it looks like the epoxy did a pretty decent job of covering those imperfections like I can't see where any of them were I know there was one there you wouldn't know it now which is exactly what I was hoping for so oops I feel like a couple of them always escape. So I'm just going to watch it come around because I think that's about all I want. And I'm going to break my stir stick. So I have a little point because I do want to get those two that went really, really high on me. And this one's a little higher than I'd really like. But this one I definitely don't want up there. And this one. So. Uh, that is it. She is done. I'm excited for this to get in the mail and go to her as a nice surprise. So. I hope you like it. I hope she likes it. And, uh. That's it. I will see you next time.